Uh, my name is Gay James. I'm in the School of Health and Life Sciences and I teach adult nursing. And the Flip the Classroom was particularly for second year of um, a new curriculum for adult nurses. Um, I had been aware that the flipped approach was being used by colleagues, um, paramedic staff, and I recognised that what we had currently been doing previously was limiting the best use we could make of the skills lab. Um, we had expensive resources like Metiman and Community Room that was very difficult for me to use for 100 students because the rooms are small. Using the flipped approach allowed me to create more small activities that could actually enable us to use these, these resources as well. So I'm now using Metiman, community rooms, as well as the other skills rooms. We really have been able to um, at least double the amount of range of activities that we had been using before, which was really to the advantage of the students because they've been able to engage with a lot more breadth of material in the skills labs than it was possible to cover in the traditional approach. Right, how I implemented the flipped approach, um, I used the opportunity of a new curriculum development um, and spoke to the team, the, the skills team that was going to be delivering with me and we identified that using a flipped approach would allow us to use a great more um, breadth of information and look at a lot more range of things than was possible in the traditional approach. We have um, a community room, we have Metiman, that are quite small um, rooms that we hadn't been able to use before with such large student numbers. Um, so flipped approach and an activity workshop which they rotate through have allowed us to use at least double the amount of um, opportunities in, in material and use these other expensive resources. Um, the resources I've used and created to allow this to be effective was really right through to how we launched the module. And actually in the module guide it's made very clear that the flipped approach is a new approach because they've already done a whole year at the university. Um, and it is essential that they um, do the um, preparation each week. So each week there is a identified list of preparation they need to do before they come to the skills lab on a Friday. Um, it might be reading an article, it might be viewing a film that we've actually got, um, it might be looking at a policy or procedure book, but they've got a whole range of different things. Generally there's four activities each week they have to prepare for and they have to do that in advance by looking at those activities. I would say the impact, um, initially there was a lot of anxiety from staff, including me, because we had a real fear that if they didn't do the preparation, the whole thing would just not work. Um, but because we actually presented it in a manner that said, look, this is for your benefit and this is going to really increase the value of the teaching and what we were able to do, they, they could see that it was actually better. Um, and we haven't had problems particularly and I think there's a bit of peer pressure as well because if your colleague has prepared and is getting on and doing really well in the skills and you haven't you're going to actually feel that you're not not keeping up with people so I think there's a bit of peer interaction as well that's good. Um, staff wise it does take more staffing in the skills lab than it used to because the actual sessions are are very interactive but we also have facilitation so we actually need more staff to man the classroom session than we used to um, but they get more out of it. Uh, the main advice I would say is that you need to promote it um, and sell it properly to the students from the beginning that it is a better way of approaching that particular thing you've chosen to do. Um, it's not something that you're trying to then avoid seeing them um, because actually it does take time and energy and it's important you put it over with a passion so that they can see why it's a good way to do it. I've had two modules now that have actually been evaluated really well and the students have engaged in it really well and I'm quite confident that it was the right way to use the skills lab. I wouldn't use it for everything because the students need to engage and interact with us.